Hey guys, Peculiar here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be making a Millie bucket hat. This bucket hat is super easy, beginner friendly, anybody can do it. And I've also provided the written pattern and timestamps as well. So Millie Bobby Brown is actually the one who inspired this bucket hat and you can see she wore it so i just decided to recreate it and make a tutorial about it and it was really pretty so yeah um this bucket hat is super easy it has all the flower details and everything it's super easy it's beautiful anybody can make it it has that purple um edging and uh, yeah it's just a really great tutorial and a really great project to work on for the summer so don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and also turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. Now let's get started. So guys, for today's videos, you're going to need three colors of yarn. Um, I'm using yellow yarn, purple yarn, and this is kind of like a pinkish purple yarn because I don't know the actual color. Um, these are all 100% acrylic. They are weight 4 yarn. And yeah, that's all for the yarn. You could use any three colors you like, but I'm just using these three colors because this is what, um, this is the exact colors that Millie's hat had. Yeah, this is the exact same color, so I'm just going to use the exact colors. Um, you're also going to need a 5mm crochet hook. You are going to need darning needles. This is like not the actual darning needle that I'll be using, but I'm just using this for reference because I can't find the other one. And you might also need a ruler. It doesn't really matter because... Most people use rulers to um, measure um, the side, the top of the hat, but I don't think you're gonna be needing a ruler, but in case, you may need a ruler to measure. So since yellow is like the, like the most color used on the hat, we're gonna need more yellow yarn than the other colors. We only need like a little bit of this color and a little bit of this color to make the flower design but um yellow is a main color used so that's why i'm using yellow so to start off with the bucket hat we're gonna start by making the top of the hat and we're gonna start by making a magic circle or a magic ring so how you're gonna do that is you're going to take the yarn and then you're gonna wrap it around your three fingers like this and then you're gonna also wrap it again by making an x and then using your pinky to support and then you're gonna take your um crochet hook and Put it under that first yarn and then use the crochet hook to grab the other yarn then twist it and then insert it under that yarn and then grab it and make a chain and then so you're gonna make one more chain making that two in total. So right now we have two chains and what we're gonna do from here is to insert 10 double crochets into the magic circle. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops and yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops to make a double crochet. And we're gonna make nine more of these making them 10 in total so right now i have nine double crochets on my magic circle and what i'm gonna do is to take the string and then 
pull it through so that the circle is closed up. So what we're going to do now is to make a slip stitch into the first double crochet, not the chain 2. So the chain 2 is right here. So what you're going to be doing is to make a double crochet, no, a slip stitch into that first double crochet. So you see where those V's are? That's where we're going to make the slip stitch. So insert your hook into those V's, yarn over, pull through, and pull through into that other stitch or loop to make a slip stitch and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain two so when starting a new row we're gonna chain two and then what we're gonna do from here is to increase into every single stitch and an increase is to make two double crochets into every single stitch so yarn over and make a an increase so make two double crochets into those V's so what you're gonna do is insert and make one double crochet and then into that same stitch you're gonna insert another double crochet and then you're gonna be doing that for the rest of this row so increase into every single stitch And then we're going to do this all the way till we get back to that last stitch. So right now I have finished making my second row. And on this row you should have 20 double crochets. So I'm going to count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yup, we have 20 double crochets on the second row. And mind you, the chain two does not count as a stitch. So for the next row, we're just gonna make a slip stitch. We always make a slip stitch on that first double crochet before starting a new row. So I'm gonna make a slip stitch and you don't make the slip stitch into the chain two. You make it into that first V. So I'm gonna make a slip stitch and then i'm gonna chain two we always chain two when starting a new row so what i'm gonna do from here is i'm gonna insert a double crochet into the first stitch but in the next stitch i'm gonna increase so make a double crochet into that first stitch and then in the next stitch i'm gonna make two double crochets into that same stitch so in that same stitch insert another double crochet so it's gonna be like a pattern so double crochet once into that next stitch and double crochet twice into that next stitch double crochet once into that next stitch and double crochet twice into that next stitch and this is what we're gonna be doing for the rest of this row so double crochet once and in the next stitch you're gonna double crochet twice so this is basically double crochet and increase in the second stitch so you're gonna do this all the way until you get to that last stitch so this is just one reminder that you would always end up with an increase into in every row so right now i'm on my last stitch and i just wanted to tell you that you should end with an increase so i'm gonna make two double crochets into that last stitch so what we're gonna do now is slip stitch 
and then chain two and then what we're gonna do now is the pattern is gonna change from double crochet into two stitches and then in the third stitch you make an increase so yarn over and double crochet into those first two stitches so one two and in the third stitch we're gonna make an increase so that's two double crochets into that third stitch so one and then two and I forgot to say this earlier but in the previous in the previous row we're supposed to have 30 double crochets so yeah I had 30 double crochets but I forgot to say it so yeah so what we're gonna do now is to double crochet in the first two and then increase in the third stitch so double crochet into those first two stitches and then in the third stitch you're gonna make an increase into that same stitch So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way till we get to the last stitch. So one more time, double crochet into the first two stitches and then increase in the third stitch. So right now I just wanted to complete my last stitch and I just wanted to tell you, you have to end with um, increases. So in every last stitch of any row, you're going to end with an increase. So I'm going to insert those two um, double crochets. And you should also end up with um, 40. You should also end up with 40 um, stitches in row number four. So yeah so what we're gonna do now is to insert into the so like make a slip stitch sorry into that st stitch and then chain two and what we're gonna do now is to keep repeating the same thing i'm gonna put like what we're gonna do for each rose so yeah and if you want to make a a small size you have to make seven rows if you want to make a medium size i think you have to make eight rows and if you make a large size it has to be nine rows so i'm gonna go ahead and complete all my rows i think i'm gonna make a medium or a large it just depends but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and complete my rows and I'm going to tell you guys what to do for each and every single row. So don't worry if you're still confused. We're just going to repeat it and till we get to the amount of rows that we want. So I'm going to repeat mine until I have, I think, 8 rows, 9 rows. I'm not sure yet. So yeah, I'm just going to do that and I'll meet you guys when I'm done. So I was making my... um rows and i just wanted to tell you that if you don't want to count your rows in order for you to know where to increase you're gonna see there's two loops like so right here you can see that i made um two double crochets into that one stitch so in between that stitch you're gonna increase so i don't know if you guys understand or the lighting is bugging but um yeah in between those two stitches you can make your increase i hope that helps okay so i currently made eight rows and this is how big it is it's bigger than my hand and i'm okay with it so yeah i'm just gonna um make a slip stitch into that v over there and 
then I'm gonna chain two and what I'm gonna do from now on is to make a double crochet into every single stitch without no increases so I'm gonna make those double crochets in the back loops only so um, for that first stitch like in the back loops in the back loops only I'm gonna insert one double crochet I don't know if you guys can see this but it's in the back loop only so I'm gonna insert my first double crochet right there and then into every other stitch I'm gonna insert a double crochet in the back loops only so I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna insert a double crochet into every single stitch until I get to the starting point and this side is gonna be the side of the heart and it's just gonna go all around like that so right now I have made um, double crochets all around in the back loops only and this is just to ensure that the hat is like making that um bucket hat shape bucket hat shape and as you can see it's already doing that and we're only just gonna um double crochet in the back loops only for this one row so right now we're currently at row number nine so what we're gonna do now is to slip stitch and i just wanted to tell you do not insert a single a double crochet into that stitch right there it's just this stitch and just count your rows because we ended up with eight eight rows right so we're supposed to have 80 double crochets in total so um that should be 80 double crochets in total then what we're gonna do now is just do slip stitch and then right on from here, we're just gonna insert, um, so sorry, we're gonna chain two, and we're just gonna insert a double crochet all around the whole stitch. So insert the first double crochet, and now we're gonna do it in both loops. So into those Vs, we're gonna go in and double crochet, all around the whole stitch without increasing and in the both loops as well so i think i'm gonna do this for about um for about six more rows i think six to seven i'm not sure yet but when i'm done i'm gonna show you guys everything so i'm just gonna go ahead this is going to go around, 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 six more times. So I am done with the side of my hat and I'm so sorry for like the lighting change but yeah right now I'm done with the side of my hat and what I'm gonna start doing is to create the brim of the hat and so I just wanted to explain to you that um, to create the brim so we're gonna change to as always and then to create the brim we're, al we're always going to insert the double crochet into that front loop. So the front loop is right here in this loop right here. So we're always going to insert into those front loops always. And we're also we're all only going to be doing that for the first row of the brim because we only want the brim to um, tilt upwards 
and we don't want the rest of the row to tilt upwards just the first row so yeah that's what we're gonna do and we're also gonna be making increases as well so you know how i ended up with eight rows and in those eight rows i increased in the seventh stitch so we're gonna keep going from there and i'm gonna insert an increase in the eighth stitch so for the first row i'm going to insert my double crochet in the front loops only front loops only so insert your first double crochet so that's one and then insert the second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and now in this eighth stitch i'm gonna increase in the eighth stitch so i'm gonna insert two double crochets into that eighth stitch and we have to increase for in order for the um brim of the hat to actually like you know form that um pointy shape so like say for example you stopped on row number nine you're gonna be increasing in the ninth stitch and then say you you stopped at seven rows for the top of the hat you're gonna be um increasing in the eighth stitch so i've done one two three four five six seven and right now in the eighth stitch i'm gonna increase two times so I'm going to put another double crochet into that same stitch to make an increase. And we're going to keep going on from there. Um, we're going to double crochet seven times and increase into that eighth stitch. And we're going to be doing this all around till we get to this starting point. So right now I am on my last stitch and I am ending with an increase. So you should always end with an increase like I've always said. So I'm just going to insert those two double crochets into that last stitch. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to slip stitch and then chain two. And right now, as you can see, the hat is now starting to form that um bucket hat shape is starting to get that like hat look and that's what we want for this hat so for the next row we're just gonna go around with a double crochet without making any increases so just insert a double crochet throughout this whole row and that's what we're going to be doing for the brim of the hat. We're just going to be making one increase row and then in the next row we're not going to make an increase. So it's just going to be increase, no increase, increase, no increase. And I think I'm going to make um four more rows. I think making that five in total. And then I think I'm, I'm not sure yet. So yeah, I'm just going to make more. You probably say see the um written pattern but this is my first time making the hat so i wouldn't know so i'm just gonna keep going along till i'm satisfied with the with how the hat looks so i'm just gonna go ahead and make a no increase row and then i'm gonna make increase no increase and then increase so yeah i'll meet you guys when i have i think about five rows five yeah and i also forgot to say this earlier we're gonna be inserting into both loops so where those v's are that's where we're gonna be inserting the um stitch not the front loop but in both loops okay so guys um i lied i only made three rows of um for the um brim of the hat so right now I just want to switch the colors because I did four actually and it turned out so big. So I just want to um, add the purple yarn so I can just change the colors. Yeah. 
So, um, I don't even know how I'm gonna change the color either. So right now, what I'm gonna do is, so I'll be completing the third row. And in this third row, I ended with a increase. So I'm gonna yarn over insert, yarn over pull through, yarn over pull through two loops, and I have two loops on my hook. And I'm gonna introduce the purple yarn, and I'm gonna wrap it around my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through and then I am going to make a slip stitch with the purple yarn so I am just going to insert into that stitch and then make a slip stitch so I'm gonna chain two and then what I'm going to do from here is, since the next row says not to make any more increases, I'm just going to be inserting a double crochet into every single stitch. So that's what I'm going to do until I get to the starting point. So do that until you get to the starting point. And I'll meet you guys when I'm done. So right now I have finished one row of purple and I'm just gonna chain two and I'm gonna cut my work. I don't have my scissors here, so I'll be right back. So I'm gonna cut off both of the colors because I don't need them anymore. And I'm gonna just pull through and then fasten off. And then what we're gonna do now is gonna find a way to hide the yarn. So I'm gonna go um, hide the yarn and I'm gonna go figure out a way to do that flower detail. So this is what the hat looks like. You could actually rock it like this. It's actually pretty nice. It looks really good. You could rock it like this. You could rock it however you want. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna go figure out a way of how to make those flower details. And then I'm gonna come back to you guys to teach you guys what to do. So yeah. Um, so guys, I finally figured out how to um crochet the flower that's on um the hat. So it's it actually like you have to crochet the actual flower and then you have to like sew it on the hat. Like I'm fine with doing that. So um yeah so you're just gonna take your yarn and i'm using two colors the pinkish purple and the actual purple and i'm gonna use um two of the purple and three of the pinkish purple so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a magic ring make an x grab your hook insert pull it through and turn and then chain one okay so from here I'm gonna insert um I think 12 single crochets so I'm gonna insert 12 single crochets into that magic ring so two three so after making 12 single crochets, I'm going to grab that string and then pull everything so it's all tight. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a slip stitch into that first stitch right there.
and now from here I'm just gonna chain up 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then I'm gonna make a slip stitch into that second stitch so not here but here and I'm going to slip stitch into that second stitch and from here I'm going to chain another 12 so 2 3 4 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11, and then I'm going to slip stitch into that second um, single crochet. It really doesn't matter actually. And then chain up 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, actually 12, my bad, 12, and then slip stitch into that next stitch and then chain up 12 again so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and then slip stitch into and then I'm gonna make my last um chain up of 12 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and then i'm gonna slip stitch into one of those stitches right there and then i'm gonna chain two and then i'm gonna leave a very long string so I could be able to sew it in and then I'm gonna cut it off and then pull through and then make sure it's tight and then right now I could be able to use this and I could be able to put it on the hat and yeah that's the flower design so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then sew everything on here. It's really hard and it's really annoying, but like just it's just patience. Patience is key. So I'm just going to go ahead and then sew all the flowers together and we're done with this hat.
thank you guys so so much for watching we've come to the end of this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and also turn on post notifications so you can get notified every single time i upload a new video and don't forget to send me pictures of your recreations i really 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 love seeing pictures of recreations because it inspires me to make more videos for you guys so yeah send me pictures and thank you guys so so much for watching